Hello and welcome to another Inverted Access stream. Tonight we're checking out some new pinball tables in Zen Pinball 2 on the PlayStation 4. Um, tables are also available on Xbox One, Xbox 360, PS3, Vita, PC. I need to mute my stream. PC, um, mobile, pretty much everything under the sun that Zen Pinball is on. Um, so we're checking out the Family Guy, or the Fox animation tables, which is called the Balls of Fury tables. And yeah, let's get going. First is American Dad. looks pretty cool so far. It's fun watching these, you know, characters from different Fox cartoons. I pretty much watch all these shows. I don't watch Family Guy anymore, but most of these other ones I'm still watch. Get the camera set. I think there's like like four maybe. I'm wheels. Together we're wheels and the leg man. You're the leg man. You're the leg man. And right down the, the fail hatch as always. Hey monkey, thanks for coming and checking out my balls. Colorful table, very green. You are a complicated I'll put that in the review. The table is very green. Okay, the ball. I think the ball changed color. I wish I knew more about pinball. I'm I could uh, going to let go of this hand ever say again. interesting things about pinball. Whoops. Let's switch Would over to five. Maybe it'll give us a little bit better view up there. So it's a water cooler that launches the pinball. Well, Stan, That's kind I guess of funny. It makes no difference now. Surprise! I'm wheels. Together we're wheels and a leg man. You're the leg man. You're the leg man. It was me, Roger, the whole time. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Every wheel and the leg man is the same. <laughs> you pick some boring case, you bicker, then you solve it. The solution usually being that Roger is the culprit. <laughs> Steve, you gotta bring me a change of clothes. I keep hitting the same little combo hole. Stand, it's now or never. So this is a real business. I can't really see what's going on up there. Getting a lot of points. Um, I keep hitting the same combo hole, so I'm getting the same wheels in the leg man quotes. There it goes. She's a What you pay for her? Ooh, multi ball. I'm so good. If you want him back alive, I'm literally the best pinballer ever. Dad, we're coming for you. How do we get in there? Hey, Sanchez. It does look sweet, actually. It freaking looks awesome. Your associate. If you want him back alive, I like the visuals a lot. I thought there was something fishy about all this leg shit. Where's Francine? I hope she's I'm not bad, the best babe. pinballer ever. Hey pancakes. Thank you for thank you for choosing this stream over Derek's. Unless you're watching both. Then I don't care, that's still fair. As long as you chose oh, this as one of the streams. But yeah, Derek posted that he was streaming a minute before I did. Although I technically called it like two hours ago. I like that, uh, I'm wheels. Together we're that wheels gold and diamond or gem encrusted gold man. piece of shit right there on the little, uh, on the left, not, I don't, it's not a bumper, I don't know what they call that, um, but it's from this weird kind of like sub story in the show that's really kind of funny. Oh, I opened Derek's is, first. I do have well, as long as you're here, that's all that matters. Like a genius. Oh, I gotta try and hit Roger. Oh, I missed him. 
Again, like I said, I wish I was good at pinball. Got him. Take that, Roger. You are a complicated man, Smith. I like this table a lot, and it, one thing I like about Zen Pinball so much more than Pinball Arcade is that there's not just like so many unfair side outs. Like, you know, those Zen Pinballs are recreate or Pinball Arcade is a recreation of actual tables. So those tables are meant to like steal, you know, it's not steal, but take people's quarters with those side outs. Whereas these ones aren't built like that, so. Damn it. Damn. And of course I go side out right there. Yeah, I really like the colors and the design on this one. Really accurate to the cartoon, I think. So 15 million. Let's see how that ranks up on the leaderboard. Game just released today, so I can't imagine the leaderboards are all that filled. That's the pro score leaderboard. I'm ahead of Crunch now, at least, who hates this version of the game. So I'm the highest of my friends, of course, because I'm amazing. These are only friend scores, I guess. Filter. What is team? Oh, single play all time. So I'm 86th. No doubt that will go straight down as more people buy the game and play the game, but I'll take 86th. Anyways, let's do another run. Yeah, I love the South Park tables too. I'm really digging this table. So there's a little bit of a, just a view of it. Got a little TV playing the, the cartoon up in the corner. That's kind of cool. There's only a bundle pancakes. Um, you can't buy them individually on PlayStation consoles or Xbox consoles. Only in the bundle. The bundle's 10 bucks for four tables, which is still an extremely good deal. Basically $2.50 for unlimited play on each of these tables. Haven't really heard much from Haley. I guess she's probably not the... Or the mom. The mom is really funny in this show. It's one of the best cartoon moms. Um, I think the writing staffs... I mean, Family Guy even makes jokes about it, but the writing staffs are so predominantly male that, you know, I think the male characters just kind of stand out because that's... People don't know how to make women, the male writers don't know how to make the women this funny. Um, but Francine in this show is really funny. I think much better than like Marge or uh, Lois in Family Guy. Most of the female characters in South Park 2 are very, Acting like a genius. you know, non-existent side characters. I'm a good miss. But yeah, I really like Francine. I'm wheels. Together we're wheels on the leg Yeah, they man. needed to... You're the leg man. Either I'm going for that ramp or that hole way too much. Going for the hole too much. Um, Or they needed to put in a few more quotes from Roger there. Every wheels on the leg man is the <laughs> same. You pick some Klaus. boring case, you bicker, then you solve it. The solution usually being that Roger is the culprit. So one thing I've never been able to figure out about pinball is how I'm supposed to pay attention to what's going on in the top left corner, the like on the little screen, while I'm trying to play on. the game. Ah, oh, I want to get up that CIA ramp. Go Team Smith. Yeah, I hit the I hit the fish. That's right, shots fired. Oh, he didn't even say anything that time. I wish I was good at these games. It'd be cool Maybe to be like ridiculously is. good at this. Ooh, hit that box off. No, hit the box! Damn it! I always choke when something cool happens on the screen. Every time. Would you step into my office, please? The ball color keeps changing. I mean, there's a few different colors at least. Oh, I got the CIA ramp. Not that exciting. 
Oh now it's blue. Francine, you be very careful out there today. Good uh, good free run. Go team Smith. I'm ready. I'm wheels. Same Together wheels we'll in the leg man the hole. Leg As always. Like stuck right there now. Oh, I was like, "What the hell's gonna happen?" The truth is, I it lost its momentum. Going on. Something might go down somewhere in some way <laughs> at some point in time. So look sharp. Wait, what's this? It's a costume, and it's lovely. Just the, go uh, already. Little non sequiturs are pretty funny when you're kind of just hearing them out of place, go but remembering them Smith. from the episodes. Went to the ATM, busted out my $40 quick cash, I got my comb, nice. I'm ready to party. Survive the night. Hit the crosshairs. Oh. Yeah, we'll give it a shot. At least I activated I'm something. Wheels. Together we're wheels and the leg man. You're the leg man. Oh, there it is. Oh, my sweet. I haven't even so hit the first target yet. Soon. Why does it? Uh, do man stuff tonight. Wait, what's this? Sweet, it's shoot again. Costume. I can hit this lovely. one in the middle, maybe. Maybe. Do man Got stuff it. Tonight. I'm so good. Sorry, Whoops. Boys. I looked at the screen. It always loops me around and drops me out. Stupid game. <laughs> I was like, I have a half a second to look at the screen, and I died. Okay, let's do this. I'm ready. Look who made a speed of recovery. No. Rogers Rampage, CIA. Air guitar. Fun just kind of reading the tables. When you're playing, you don't really get a chance to look too, too much at the table. I, I can't anyway. I'm not talented enough. I'm wheels. Together we're wheels and the leg man. You're the leg man. Yeah, that leg man one's in it too much. Shit. No! I'm not good at these games. Oh, this isn't over, Smith. You're fired. All right, let's try. Man, I only got four million that time. Didn't I get eighteen million, fifteen million last time? All right, move on to the next one. Let's do Family Guy next. We'll stay in the Seth MacFarlane zone for now. <laughs> okay, here we go. Kind of pretty similar style. I mean, it makes sense since the animation style of those two shows are so similar. Whoops. Got the clam. Doing, the incredible wacky whaley. I don't know. Oh, and Joe is the launcher. Oh, That's so funny. Close. We'll go with five. Seems to be a pretty good one. No, let's do six. I like when it moves the camera so I can see the rest of the screen. Yeah. Oh, I gotta put it in the clam. I, I can do that. Spokesperson was quoted as saying, Duh, I'm a dumb cop. I like to give Tom Whoops. Tucker a ticket. I was going like 41. There we go. Yeah. Made it in the clip. Right. I knew this was coming. Everybody, give me your best shot. I'm not very good. Oh, let's hit this thing. Whoops, wrong one. Oh, no. Oh, it's uh, Cleveland falling down. That's funny. Your progress has been. 
This looks like M. Pollen on my friend's list already owns this, and he's got 20 million. Well, this has been an so I've got, I've got something to shoot for, though. He's probably significantly better than me. Hehe. <laughs> got the chicken. So just a bunch of ramps in this one. Like, each of them have kind of clearly different objectives. If I was good enough at the game, I could try and hit the different ramps regularly, but I'm not good at that. Ooh, I got something. Ooh! Little mini-game. Ah, shit. Oh, I have three health. Oh. Good shot! This is too perfect! Yes! <laughs> this is badass. Ah, shit. Oh no, I still have one health. Whoops, now I don't. That was cool. I want to do that again. Yeah. Two more hits to fight Bertram. Wow. Trying to hit that ramp that has the the maid lady and the old man on it. I have two more things to hit there as well. Oops. I think in the far left, there's a hole on the far left, a ramp that I guess I hit three times or something. I'm gonna try and do it again. But yeah, that was cool. I like when they put those little mini games and stuff in these games. I suck at him, of course, but... Yeah. Damn it. Oh no, I did hit him, somehow. Oh, I have a Meg Ball. That's funny. I don't really want a Meg Ball, but... Oh, this is fun, huh? I got one somehow, not sure. As always. Kind of just whack the, uh... The bumpers when the ball's around them. Hope for the best. Shit. Never been very good at saying good B. So I needed twenty million and I got three million. Not exactly oh, this is an all star. Okay. What are you doing, Mr. See if we can't get something well, cool to happen an again. Seems like a little bit less like character yeah. quotes than in the American Dad one, which isn't too bad. You know, it's not a problem. Wow. I want to keep hitting that chicken. That's cool too. Good. Good so far. It's kind of nice. So yeah, basically each character has their little ramp. I'm almost done with Brian's. That's the one for fighting Bertram. So I gotta try and get it in yes. there again. Yes. Yes. Put it right Would in the you, uh, clam. Would you have dinner with me? My love. lights all went out or something. I've never been so, happy. so I set a new personal record already just with my first ball, so that's encouraging. I'm, in love. I'm definitely hitting ramps better this time. Shit. Get up there. Quagmire definitely just needs wow. to say Giggity out of the blue way more. <laughs> Stewie ramp is kind of hard to hit. You definitely have to launch Good. at the last Good second. So far. Oh, sweet. Wow. Get Brian one more time. Come there we so go. Hard to meet the right woman. Good. Good so far. Good evening. I'm Tom Tucker. Coming up, important traffic news that can't help you because you're someplace where a TV is. Oh, that's so that's how I changed. So now I actually have the Brian ball. That's kind of cool. Ah, shit. Let's try again. Hey, cool. I got spam. I need to moderate more viewers so I can get rid of that. Oh, yeah, multi ball. I think it's the uh, angry chicken multi-ball. 
Yeah, it's it's the it's Peter and the shit and the chicken fighting. Oh, I still have shoot again going cool. That's funny. That's really cool. I like when they have like the little custom balls. How you, uh, how you coming on that novel? Oh, it's flashing a lot. Let's hope that means lots of points. So even though I think I probably like the design on the American Dad table more, this one seems so like clear and concise, like pretty clear about what you're trying to do. I think I kind of like the direction that this table takes a little bit more. Shit. Oh, I still got, nope, I changed back to the regular ball. You didn't like the fighter jet sequence? I like I, that's like my favorite part is stumbling on those little things in these. But maybe that's more of a purist thing. I'm definitely not a pinball purist. I'm pretty much the opposite of the purist of a purist. I just love these. And the thing is too, you know, I, I hate to say anything too mean about them. But Zen Studio well, Zen Studios is so much cooler than Far Side. The guys that make these tables are just they, they're just so much cooler to me. Like, you know, they make sure to build cross-buy into everything. Um, you know, they've worked really hard to get the Xbox 360 and Xbox One version of cross-buy going. Um, whereas Pinball Arcade doesn't do any cross-buy anymore. They cost more money. Um, oh, no. they're, they're less receptive to feedback. Oh, I got your pancakes. Hey, Joe. Um, hey, Joe, but yeah, I've, I've always just been a huge well, fan of Zen. Perfect. I need to get that. I, I should start aiming. It's really hard to aim for it because it's so far to that left. It almost just needs to take a weird bounce. I need to do that shooter. I want to try and do that shooter thing one more time. Get in there. See, it almost just needs to bounce in there. So you guys all got Star Wars tickets? I didn't get any. I'll probably go see it on my holiday break at some point, but I don't. I probably won't see it day one. I'll, I mean, I want to. It's probably way too late now, right, to get tickets for regular price, even for like a daytime show. Good. Good. So and it'd be far. different if I had someone around for sure to go with, because I'm not a huge fan of going to the movies by myself. Shit. Me and my friends. Yeah, I think it was all of us this back in high school. Sanchez was one of them. Um, I'll look into it, Pancakes. Because, I mean, if I can get, like, a daytime showing and just sneak out of work for a few hours, take vacation, that's probably what I'd want to do instead of doing a night thing. Um, let's, do, let's do one more run on that. Um, I, it was either episode or episode, episode one or episode two that we all just kind of out of the blue decided okay, to skip class uh, one day in high school and go see again. Star Wars. So it was close. a lot of fun. Because usually, I mean, in high school I skipped class a decent amount, you know, but I was still like a really good student, so I'd only skip so class if I knew it was make up a bowl or if I knew the class wasn't necessary to go to that time. But I remember I actually like skipped important classes oh, to go see Star Wars. Fun, huh? So that counted as like real skipping, not just like putting off a class that, that was not going to matter anyway. Yeah. But yeah, I definitely, I do want to see the new Star Wars, that's for sure. Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. Coming up, important traffic news that can't help you because you're someplace where a TV is. Ah, <laughs> uh, so like your friends or you're going with someone who like absolutely has to see it day one. I'm exactly like that, Pancakes, and that's why I was saying I'd rather go to a wow. daytime show. I mean, it'll still be crowded, but I'd, like, I'd rather just take the two or three hours off of work. I have the hours and just go catch the show. And it'll be a little bit less crowded, and it'll be a little bit cheaper. And especially, like, I don't know. I, I like Star Wars, but I definitely don't need to see, like, super, super nerdy Star Wars people. Like, all dressing up and being cringy and stuff. Well, then, this has been an absolute misfire. It's funny that I got that stewy thing the first time because now I can't even get the ball in there for nothing in the world. Yes, yes, yes. 
There we go. That's when I need to shoot at him, but I need to do it at least a couple more times. A police spokesperson was quoted as saying, Duh, I'm a dumb cop. I like to give Tom Tucker a ticket. I was going like 41. I got the shoot again. No, the shoot again shut off. Oh, it shut off right when that fell down the edge. Yeah. What's the old Republic era? Is that like when 4, 5, and 6 were set? There we go. One more to fight Bergstrom. We'll put that as our goal for this one. There we go. Whoops. Good shot. L is up and R is down for whatever reason. I can't seem to get that in my mind. Bertram is his name, not Bergstrom. Whoops. One thing I kind of like is it doesn't seem like it's timed. There we go. No trophy. Two million points, though. Oh, yeah, Old Republic. I, yeah, I never played those games. They were super popular, though. Okay, that's it. I'm finished. I'm, I'm finished. I'm done. It's over. Yeah, lots of ramps in this one. Um... But good for me. I'm a simple kind of guy when it comes to that sort of stuff. Perfect. I could see that happening. Aren't they going to try and do one Star Wars movie a year? So they'll like do number seven, and then they'll do a couple spin-offs, and then they'll do number eight, and then they'll do a couple spin-offs. Oh, I got Meg again. Meg must be the easiest one to get. I can get the multi-ball here real quick if I can get that up there, which of course I can't. There we go. And now it's Meg fighting the chicken. I'm so terrible with multi-ball. I don't know where my other ball went. Good god, there it is. That was a pretty crummy multi-ball. Yeah. A police spokesperson was quoted as saying, Duh, I'm a dumb cop. I like to give Tom Tucker a ticket. I got the Peter Ball suit. Now I may be an idiot, but there is one thing I am Got my new high score. No, I'm close to my new high score. Who's Donnie Yen? Important traffic news that can't help you because you're someplace where a TV is. Sorry, I don't. I I actually haven't been following the news that much at all, like the characters or anything. I, I prefer to go in blind to movies and games and stuff for the most part. Like after I realize I want to see it for sure, I just kind of stop paying attention to the previews and stuff like that. I like the different character balls in this one too. Two more to fight Birdstrom again, which I think I don't really need to do again. I mean, it was worth two million. Get in there. Tyler, get better at pinball. This has been Trisha Takanawa with the news, and now I will have my normal. Yes. The uh, multi-ball is extremely simple in this table, which is good for me. That, and I should say that's another reason why I so prefer Zan is there's no arguing that these tables are just simpler than the pinball arcade ones. Uh, lost my Peter ball already. Getting close to so far. M pollen. Hmm. 
I haven't done the lowest one yet. Shit! Oh, I beat him with the bonuses. Gotta love the Zen pinball bonuses. Interesting. I haven't heard of him. Pancakes. Take that, M. Pollen. Damn right. Let's check uh, where I ended up on that one. 84th. Archer next. Well, when the audience requests it, that's damn well what you better do. Oh, it's much darker than the last two already. Which makes sense. I do like Archer. Well, I, I like it a good amount. Sometimes it's a little bit too much for me. Like it just they like they go they get into this habit of like screaming through the entire second half of the episode and it it's just sometimes a bit too much for me. Oh that's cool. <laughs> Gator. That's great stuff. Wow. I was wa I forgot to change the camera, but I was also watching a La Lana, 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 walking towards her position. I was like, okay, and the ball rolled right off the flipper. Pancakes always runs the show. When Pancakes is here, he's in charge. They have a four for four deal at Wendy's. I don't even know what that is, Monkey. What's four for four? I usually don't need four items to eat. Ridiculous. Like a one burger and one fry is usually good enough for me. Some, sometimes I'll get chicken nuggets too. So I don't know what four for four Krieger, is. Sounds awesome though. Krieger. Speaking of which, I do still need to eat dinner. Go thwart something. Monkey was supposed to co-host with me, but he's sick, so you just got me tonight. Ant strength relative to the size of a human. Yeah, I don't like that five one at all. Okay, we'll we'll go with six so we can try and see a bit more of the table. Ooh, it went into a cave. Lots of ant jokes on this one. Oh, oh I like the strong button. It's a good price. I don't get drinks from fast food restaurants because they have soda at home. So I almost never get drinks. But I'll have to try it out. But I haven't seen it. Have you seen commercials for it? Or you just saw it like in the window? Or on the sign or something? Whoops, damn it. I was reading Pancake's comment. You know, I, I hate Wendy's bacon, it's just like this. pure salt. Yep. That's what we're here for, Pancakes, to help you make your fast food decisions in life. So it doesn't look it doesn't look like M. Pollen has played this one yet. 
so I don't have a high score to beat. Awesome. Little less, what's the term, like, little less focus on the cartoon. Ooh, I love when I do that. I'm so good. I tilt it back up onto my bumper. I'm gonna watch a replay because I'm amazing. There it is. I'm so good. A um, little less like interaction with the show on this one, I'd say. I mean, they they're still talking. Whoops. Oh, for but like how the other ones were changing characters and stuff, and maybe I just haven't activated anything yet. I would agree with that for sure. Um, yeah, the, uh, fountain, whoops, I don't need the table guide. I'm a pro. Um, fountain drinks can be, like, some of the best sodas there are. Like, if the mix is right, awesome. they're delicious. They're better than even cans and bottles and stuff like that. But it's too risky to, you know, get those all the time because if the car if it's too much carbonation, it just tastes bitter and terrible. Um, if there's, if the syrup is low or whatever. And if there's too much syrup, it, it tastes flat. So it's, it can be a pain in the ass. I've, we've talked about it before, but I found on those big red machines, which Wendy's has now, like that, that supposedly have like 60 drinks. Well, they do have like 60 drinks in them, but That's not you. I, I find that they're not carbonated ass. enough sometimes. Wait, you think it's safe? The mix is just off. So they're not my favorite. I much prefer the old fashioned fountain drinks. Answer the po answer it. What are you doing? Catching a rogue, sir. Shit. Do oh, no, I got a ball safe. Use the Nargas. Woodhouse. Woodhouse. What the hell is this? Hell indeed, sir. There's a lot of stuff I can't see going on up there behind the scenes, it seems like. Nope, nope, nope. Whoops. Lana. Last time I streamed pinball, I got yelled at for holding the flippers up too much. I was hoping Zero would show up. He loves watching me pay, play pinball. Actually, so does Royal Bob. <laughs> Monkey. That sounds good. It reminds me of that Simpsons episode with the super, the all syrup squishy or whatever they make. That's really funny. I always dreamed of having one of those myself. Sweet, I got the car. I moved the car. I did something with the car. There's something going on up there. I want to see what's going on. They're like fighting on a train. Oh, I was supposed to target these ramps. But I can't see what they're doing. It's kind of weird. There's absolutely no reason to ever get on top of a moving train. <laughs> so I was fighting on top of a train, but I couldn't watch it for whatever reason. Oh, there's Adam. I'm surprised you were able to hold your tongue with my piss poor pinball play. Krieger, I need you to. Krieger? Krieger? Oh, yeah, multi ball. Yeah, I'd say this is probably my least favorite table out of the three that I've played so far. I mean, it's fine, but. I, I like, like, the big gimmicky stuff. That's what I like the most. I really liked, uh, visually I probably liked American Dad the best. Gameplay wise, I probably liked, uh, Family Guy the best. Talk to me. What are you doing? Oh yeah, I did it again. I'm so good. 
Even though I think I had the ball save on, so it wouldn't have mattered. They need to make West Wing pinball. That's what I've been watching lately. I want to see West Wing pinball. I'm going to tweet them that later. They got to get the voices too, you know, Rob Lowe, Martin Sheen. Yep, 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 yep. Duh. There can be a White House that you, you know, okay, go, in, the go into and, and there can be like terrorist plots wait, wait, wait. and that'd be awesome. Come on. Okay, There's so a thing for me to hit and then it goes right down the that thing. Blue and white wire. Ah, Zero is one of them purists. Yeah, it does zero. That's exactly how it works. Yep, that's right. Monkey, that is correct. I like the little psych out, the crazy period when they're drinking that squishy too. But yeah, you need to... Uh, it needs double the space. It's really poorly implemented. It was created when... You know, I don't think they were counting on... At the beginning of the cycle, they weren't counting on people downloading... 30 gigabyte games. Do not use the nerd gas. Not that that's an excuse, but I think it's why it's like that. To the point where, like, if you have a, even if you have 120, you need half of it open to download like a 30 gigabyte game, like God of War, or whatever. Go thwart something. I was wondering if you'd like to walk again. I've already done it twice. Oh, well, then what could go wrong? No, this has nothing to do with robotics. I'm talking about bionics. This has been a good game, a good run for me. That second ball lasted for a long time. I'd like to see Crunch Chewy do this good. Do you honestly want to live through the rise of the machines? I had a feeling Archer would probably be my least favorite. The other three are so colorful and cartoony, whereas this one's a little bit more like realistic cartoony. Which I mean, it's it's still fine, but it's not my Talk favorite. To me. What are you doing? And it's probably my oh, least favorite of the four shows. Seriously? If you if you count old Family Guy, if you're not counting you know, old I, Family Guy and just new Family Guy, then this. I like Archer a lot more than Family Guy. Let's go ahead and try out Bob's Burgers. Sterling Archer. Bob's Burgers. More H. John Benjamin goodness. Well, I got a number one on there, and that must mean I'm number one on my friends list or something. It's kind of cool. No trophies yet. But that's not surprising. I'm terrible at these games. Starting again. Hello, Bob's Burgers. A lot more ramps, so I'll probably like this one, and and it'll be less enjoyed by pancakes. Start with four and see how that goes. Mustard launcher. That's kind of cool. Yeah, we'll just use six. So we can see the whole table. Lots of stuff obscured by the ramps up there. I can I'm never excited. like understand what's underneath it. This is Shit. The same Fry again. Family. That's cool. I like that. Theatrics is the word I'm looking for. One of my favorite things about Zen Pinball is the theatrics. Like on the blade table, I remember you can like make it nighttime and he gets all vampire style and all bladey style. Stuff like that. I love those on these tables.
Oh, it's a little nice, nice to hit. Oh my God, this is hit so one. Exciting. Hit them both. So good. I lit up the Linda. I'm good. Bob's Burgers does have some really funny female characters as well. We were talking about that earlier. Linda's not my absolute favorite. She's okay, but uh, the two young girls are very funny. Uh, I can't believe I got detention. Which uh, only one of them is actually voiced by a female. Um, what are the girls' names? I can't remember. I mean, more do than usual. I know Jean and Bob and Linda. Oh, Tina, which I looked up right there on the table. And I can't remember the little girl with funny ears name. If you need me, I'll be down here on the floor. Yeah, this setup is way different, way more complex than uh, Louis, that's right. This one's, the setup is way more complex. The family guy is about as simple as it gets, which is probably why it appeals to me so much. Yep, Louise, there's her name up there. I think both Tina and uh, Linda are voiced by men, isn't aren't they? I might be wrong there. There's not like a oh there is there it is. I didn't see the higher bumper. There's always like one higher bumper on these tables. What did you buy this week, Pancakes? I know you got Oregon Trail. Um, did you buy anything else this week? I know you're you're a pretty good contributor to, to Sony's and, and these developers' uh, games. You sound like everyone on Reddit, Monkey. There's like certain celebrities that they just worship on there, and Chris Pratt is one of them. Oh yeah, Primal Carnage, you'll have to stream that. That's cool, the mustard thing is cool. Oh, Primal Carnage is multiplayer, huh? I remember seeing that, and I'm like, this looks awesome. Like, I want to check this out for sure. I love killing di- you know, I want to kill as many dinosaurs as humanly possible in my life. Um, nice then I think I be. saw it was like multiplayer only or something like that. Oh, oh, the little ghost! I wanted to get the ghost! Oh, I still have a chance. Oh, I missed him though. That ghost is hilarious. It's one of my favorite episodes is when he's trapped in the wall. I think that's what it was. I might be wrong. Yeah. Pratt is one of those, uh, like, look at, uh, look, Chris Pratt is buying hot dogs at the park. Here's a picture of him, and then it gets like 6,000 upvotes, and everyone posts comments like, man, he seems so cool, like, I just want to hang out with him for the day. Crap like that. Stupid Reddit. Oh, I did something. Find the Taffy doll. This is a very simplistic game. Don't worry, Louise. We're gonna get you out. Oh, I found the parents. No clue what happened there. <laughs> that was weird. But I do remember that episode too. Sucks it got cancelled. Yep, that's right, Pancakes. You seem to be immensely familiar with Reddit's default front page. Do you post on Reddit and do you comment a lot on Reddit? Or you just view it? 
Well, I used to comment a decent so amount, and then uh, even on even on subreddits that I enjoyed, they started to get really stupid, and I kind of just stopped posting things. But I mean, you you have you absolutely okay. just have to you absolutely have to uh, get rid of most of the defaults and, and make your own Reddit front page to make it interesting and tolerable. Unless you're 14 years old or you enjoy browsing Facebook all day. Hello, Bob's Burgers. I'm actually probably a little bit better in this view because I get to just, you know, follow the ball more and aim the ball a little better. Um, but it's not nearly as fun of a view. It's Shit. just something I'm doing to save the family, no big deal. I like how like the condiments it looks like are, are the lights on the different ramps. So like lettuce and probably what cheese and tomatoes is what those three colors are. The yellow might be mustard, I guess it's cheese. Bob's Burgers is such a funny, clever show. One of my favorite episodes is, well, there's a couple favorite ones. Um, one has Aziz in it and like he's training Bob how to be good at and both of them actually have weird one in joke, but um, Aziz, the little Aziz character, is trying to train Bob how to be good at a certain video game. I think he has to beat a high score or something like that. So that one's really funny. Like Bob gets super addicted to this video game. Um, and then the other one, I, one of the other ones I really like is Bob gets a second job as a taxi cab driver to pay for something for I think Tina, but like. <laughs> <laughs> they just make this weird joke that he may have, may have smoked crack one night with a couple of uh, uh, transsexual prostitutes or something like this. It just kind of goes off the rails and it's really funny. Is your username over there the same thing as it is around here? Because I definitely don't use my same username on Reddit. As I do on other sites. I did when I first set it up and then I realized like if I ever want to comment on you know you can the, the thing about reddit is everything's so random basically there's a few people you would recognize if you go there all the time but otherwise it's just a million billion people commenting so I actually want to keep my an anonymity plus if I want to you know upvote certain subreddits wow, or comment in certain subreddits you don't need that reflected. Hey Eastex, I called it first you should check out uh, invertedaccess.com. Our post went up at about 3 p.m., so it's so-called stealing from me. Are you ready to order? Whoops. If you need me, I'll be down here on the floor. Yeah, I should I should use a stupid female name on Reddit. I I use Yik Yak a little bit. Do you use that pancakes? Have you ever heard of Yik Yak? I'm not sure if we've talked about it before. Um, but it's super fun when to troll or when other guys troll, like because for whatever reason people use Yik Yak like it's Tinder, like to try and hook up with people locally. And it's freaking stupid because the whole point of Yik Yak is anonymity. So a lot of times people will like troll oh, the guy. You know, guys will post dumb shit like trying to trying to get laid tonight or whatever. And then you know someone will post and kind of lead them on amazing. for a bit. It's like, oh, you got Snapchat. And then there's one really funny one. It's like man with dong was a Snapchat or something like that. It, I don't know. It was hilarious at the time. But you could absolutely do the same thing on Reddit with female usernames. 
nice to see you. People like to believe away? everything they read on the internet. Oh, it's okay. Suck. I guess I wasn't meant to have a good life. We'll do one more run on Bob, and we might switch back to American Dad or Family Guy. Bob's Burgers is sweet. I actually like all four of these shows. I don't like new Family Guy hardly at all. Um, that's not an unusual opinion. Um, American Dad, I would certainly watch if I had cable. I don't have cable and it's on TBS now, so there's no way I'll ever like see new episodes until they're on like uh, Netflix or whatever. Um, American Dad is good. Some episodes, like it, it's not great. American Dad is good, but I can only do maybe like a few episodes at a time. And that's like, all right, let's, you know, find something else. Whereas the first two or three seasons of Family I'm Guy, excited. I can binge watch those, no problem. Um, Archer, I already kind of talked about. If Fuck, if I lose the ball like that one more time. Archer is good. It's very, there's so much yelling. It, it's, it takes a lot for me to, to watch a lot of episodes of Archer in a row because they, they like, they just keep yelling at each other a lot of the times and it's not, it can be funny, but it's also kind of aggravating. And then Bob's Burgers is very relaxed and a very cool show. Um, Attention is no big deal, Mom. The creator is behind one of the old Cartoon Network shows that I loved. I keep wanting to say Home Movies, but I don't think it's the guy that did Home Movies. But maybe I'm wrong. It might be home movies because of the H. John Benjamin tie-in. See, and I think I think Archer is just as mean as as American Dad, if not more mean. They're very mean and rude to each other. Hey, Strange Games. I haven't seen the Miami Vice season, that's actually where I am, so that's not terribly encouraging for me. Who wants ice cream? Oh my god, this is so exciting! You want some water? So, you like chocolate milk? <gasps> I don't believe it! How are you doing, Strange Games? It's been a little while. Anything new in the pipeline? One thing I do like about Archer, for sure, is uh, some of the side characters I think can be even funnier than the main ones. Um, I really like Krieger, like he just cracks me up uh, non-stop. His characters could very easily be my favorite character in Archer. Um, 